Hey YouTube, this is a video on how to strip blue tilapia fry from their mothers. I have two tilapia in here that are carrying eggs. The male is in the way. There's one. The other one is just on the other side of the male. So I'm going to get a uh, bucket or something to put her in and we will commence this. This bin works great. You want something with a little bit of depth. I'm not going to use a blue bucket because I want to be able to see the eggs falling out of her mouth so I can tell whether or not she still has them in there. One thing that I found that makes catching the females a lot easier is if you turn the lights off for about 20 minutes and then come back in they'll actually be resting on the bottom because fish do have some kind of sleeping pattern. They don't sleep completely like humans do, but they'll be very sluggish and it makes it a lot easier to catch them. So what you do is, once you have them, stick your finger in the bottom of their lip, you open their mouth, And you just dunk them in the water. In and out like that. Make sure to get her gills down in the water too because that pushes water through them so she can get a breath of fresh water and the uh, water will push out the other eggs. Sometimes they'll hold them back with their tongue, so you gotta make sure you keep dunking them to get them all. And then, after you think you've got them all, you can look in her mouth. Nope. Put her back in the tank. Alright, that's one. Now for the other one. Here's the second female. And she's got a lot of eggs in her mouth. Okay, I think I got them all. Okay, now you have to prepare the eggs for the egg tumbler. And you want to get rid of most of the dead eggs or eggs that are not, have not been fertilized. Those eggs will be a milky white or will be damaged. You'll see clear egg shells floating around. The eggs that are dark orange or light orange are fertilized and you should see eyeballs or tails developing by day two. These eggs are three days old. So all you can see is little eyes and maybe a tail on a couple of them depending on how fast they've developed. Now there's probably about 50 of them in there. I struggled getting the female that had most of the eggs out first. I believe she might have swallowed most of them, so this clutch will be pretty small. Now to get out the broken eggs or the unfertilized eggs, I use an airline tube to get out the bad eggs and put them in this jar. So I take my airline tube, I find a bad egg, and I suck it out. As you can see, I have the egg in the tube, and I place it over the con other container, and I just let it flow back into that container, dumping the egg out. Now remember, the yellow whitish eggs are bad, and the lighter orange or dark orange eggs are good. Sometimes 
You may get it wrong and there might be some eggs in the egg tumbler that are orange at first and may turn white due to cracked shells. And that is why you have to open the egg tumbler and suck them out. Okay. Here is the end result. There's probably about 25 in there. How the egg tumbler works is that the air bubbles and pushes air out the top and water is pushed through. Goes through the filter on the bottom, water flows past the eggs and goes out. I have a valve here that I got off of eBay that I can increase and decrease the airflow. You want the eggs to tumble just a little bit. You don't want them going up into the tumbler and coming down and crashing because the eggs will break and they will die. You kind of just want them to tumble on each other and bounce around. I got this egg tumbler for about $15 off of Amazon. You can easily make one. Things to remember is that you always want to wet your hands when you handle a fish because the oils on your hands will destroy their slime coats and will make them susceptible for diseases. Another thing is you should always make sure you got any eggs out of the net because whenever you catch the fish they will release their eggs into the net. I wish you good luck reading Blue Tilapia. Thanks for watching.